on a 24 gauge. I'm making a tannin stream. It's a lovely cool 7 degree morning. It's going to be 22 here today. Uh, crystal blue sky, bright blue sky up there. Probably should have been here an hour and a half ago, but it takes a while to get going. And a lot of fine sunny days coming, even days in the 30s. So those days in the 30s, I don't know they'll be fishing. Mm -hmm. I'm here, I just had my first hit down. I just picked into that bank there and brought it back and had a yeah, little, right. we just got our first little brownie. We're just taking off that other river bank over there, just the other side of that sunlight patches on the water. Ain't uh, yeah, nothing big, but anyway. First of the day, it's taking five minutes. Give me him off, a couple of photos and send him home. Oh, beautiful, anyway. There you go, thank you. Lovely. I had four hits in that little pool, one hook up and lost it. But, uh, they weren't, they weren't over the grass. Another bit of a mess to get up and around. I forgot if around this way. Oh, trying to get out the river's hardest part. Yeah, pretty quiet. Haven't had a single hit up here. I've gone White Miller. I started from Arch Brown there, White Miller. I've used the um, Stone by Bug. Now I've got a copper blade Aglia Mooch Noir on. And uh, no sign of it. managed to make my way up and around that log jam. Took a bit of doing and come down the hill and then slide myself, drop myself off that river bank there. I've come up through here. And uh, a bit more open water here for a little a little ways anyway, we'll see what happens, eh? I'll tell you. I just hooked and lost another one here, only a little one, but I, I thought he was pretty well hooked until he sort of jumped from the water and he just tossed Finally, it. we have a very <laughs> fish. <laughs> Taking a while, and that was a backhand cast in that flat water under that tea tree in there. And this fella just came out and smashed it. This little March Brown was a new one, I broke one of the hooks off I was Adjusting some adjustments like I normally do, put them off center and that, and the, yeah, one of them snaps. So it's just got the, I flatten them out, it's just got the two little, two, two of the three trebles on it now. Anyway, after losing two just a while ago, this little fella stayed on. See a fat little bugger. Anyway, there you go, did him. So that's been an hour between fish then. It's a land one. How's that? God's truth. And there we go, I haven't moved my position here. And uh, I've just got another one on to cast this up on the right hand side under that uh, dogwood tree. And this, this little fella's grabbed hold of it. Uh, so quick it can turn around. And uh, you know, we'll get this little tacker off and send him on his way. A couple of photos of him. Beautiful red spots on him, too. Oh, Bobby. Yeah, he's coming in the morning fish here. Just broke the silence. <laughs> he jumping around. Best fish of the day so far is to cast straight right in the centre of this piece of water here. And he's come and grabbed hold of it. Nice plump fish. A little fat fella. So we'll get him off. Beautiful condition. Lovely colours. Oh, the two hook system seems to be working pretty well. I'll just unhook him, then I'll send him on his oh, way. Oh, beautiful. On your bike. There you go. Oh, there's another one here. He's going to be the wrong around too. Lovely fish too. That same similar size as the last one. It's going to be a fraction bigger. Yeah, lovely. That's good. Very good. Oh, he's good to go. There's the colours in that fish. Oh, God, they're beautiful. Right, on your way, Bobby. That's it. Thank you. So I have to get over here. There's no other way around. Too high. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's all that razor grass along the other side of that river bank that cuts you to pieces. So, you no, know, we just have to scramble over this one. Oh, yeah. another solid fish here. He's a lovely one. So he's a beauty. Oh, be yeah, it's a lovely fish, this one. The best fish of the day, fella. I just took me that George. I think them two, just them two hooks are doing a bloody great job. <laughs> Unreal. I'll get him in the net anyway. 
bloody mossy here, mosquitoes everywhere in here. Poh. Right there fella, you're good to go. He's off, he's gone, there he is. Nice stretch of water ahead. Look at that little fella there. <laughs> you come around like you're just part of him, look at it. Hey, eh? oh, look at him. <laughs> just love it. This is just life at its best. I'm dread the day I get too old to come up these rivers. Nearly 77. In a couple of months' time. Hopefully, I can get at least another three years or more, three or four years into doing this. Hope the body can hold out. Another nice one here. Lovely fish. Let's just take note of that stuff. log is here. It's only a very small bit of water but it's run all over this log. There's a lovely fish. The last one I got went 440 grams and this one's not far far off that mark either looking at him. I'll get him in there before he takes off over that log here. There's a nice, nice fish. Speed him in there. There we go. Yeah, no, not as big as the other one. Anyway, I'll just set him down here for a minute. And I'll turn this camera off and unhook him. Oh, and him on. There you go, Bubby. There you go. Nice you feed up the river from here. I'm standing on top of this. Massive log jam. I've got to find my way down there. Easiest way down. Oh, it's got a little tucker here. Gone to a stone fly bug spinner now. And uh, the main reason for that being it's, the sun's over higher now on the water and the, the trout have just been following the lure, following the little March Brown, so that I will we'll just have to uh, go to the black one now. And, uh, yeah. They just cast up into that shade here and it's little tackers come and grabbed hold of it. Oh, that's number eight. Back you go, but there you go. Off you go. Beautiful. There we are in the same bit of water, haven't even moved. Just another cast back in that same same area. And this one here's grabbed hold of it bigger. Nice little fat bugger. Yeah, that was just up in that uh, same area as I just cut that last little tacker. And he tossed it a little bunch of in there too, that was in the side of the net there. Anyway, it would tip him out. Good to go. One more. Happy with one more. This lovely brown here was sitting right here in this deep hole. I just saw him, saw him move. I just flicked the stone floor just up ahead of it, brought it back and he just come up off the bottom there and grabbed hold of it. Lovely fish, lovely one. So get him in the net. Yeah, very beautiful looking fish. Oh, lovely coloured brown. There he is. He's on his way. Just down there. Right on my feet. There he goes. Oh, finally after getting over another log jam. Getting through here. Got open water. There's a trout just on the side that bit of crap there. Then too, just spoke the surface. A little shallow, oh, little one died off there then. <laughs> I saw this little fella break the surface over there. I picked the lure up there and he just came and smashed it. <laughs> and a little tacker, have a look at the size of it. Oh, we'll get him off, send him home. There we go. No foot on it, there he comes. Nice little brownie. I had a follow from a nice one too, and then 
He didn't take it, and I thought, oh, I was nearly thinking about putting a hard body on for this deep border. And then I had a long cast up to the left hand side over there. And uh, yeah, this fellow has grabbed hold of it. So, oh, get him off. Jeez, I wish it was overcast. I hate this bloody sun going on the water. No, oh, Bobby. There we go. Oh, I've got the even dozen. I tell you what, the way it started off, I got. The Got that little trout early in the session and then nothing for it. And then now I went behind nothing and I thought this is going to be just one of those days. Uh, it's been good so far. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Oh, I'm back at the car. It's uh, just on 11.30. Yeah, so it's um, about 28 in the river or something. Or 25 to 8, something like that anyway. Yeah, a dozen, dozen trout, even even dozen caught and released. Um, yeah, I think I only hooked and lost five others. Had quite a lot of follows and nips and little bumps on the back of it, but uh, yeah, it's full sun never helps in the, in the small stream. Trout get a bit skittish, but um, all those that were caught mostly were in, in shaded, shallow, faster flowing runs and a couple in the deep, well, a couple in the deeper water, but most were in the shallow runs. So yeah, so the March Brown started off all right, and it was followed up with the stonefly. So yeah, it was a good good session. So. And uh, yeah, till next time, guys. It's tight lines. And have a have a good time um, and drive safely. All right. Take care of yourselves.